Good evening. Uh, my name is Myron Arnowit. I'm the Pennsylvania Director for Clean Water Action. I live in Pittsburgh, uh, and I've lived here for 25 years. Is this, is this good enough? No, no, no. Can I keep this slide a little closer? No. Is that better? Can people hear me now? Just move a little closer. Is that better? That sounds better to me. <laughs> As I said, um, I'm the Pennsylvania Director for Clean Water Action. That is better. Um, and uh, we have 8,000 members here in Allegheny County, including hundreds here in the Mon Valley, um, who are impacted by the ongoing pollution violations from U.S. Steel's Clareton Coke Works. We appreciate ACHD holding this public hearing um, on this critical issue. We have several important concerns about the proposed settlement agreement uh, between ACHD and U.S. Steel. First, it is disappointing to learn that U.S. Steel has not made more progress over the past year in improving uh, compliance with our clean air laws. According to the information in the proposed settlement, between 2018 and 2019, U.S. Steel was only able to eliminate approximately 5% of their violations at the Clareton Coke Works. At this rate, we won't reach full compliance for 20 years. Given how slowly U.S. Steel is acting to stop these violations, we continue to see our air quality fail to meet Federal Clean Air Act standards. Preliminary data for the first half of 2019 at the ACHD Monitor in Liberty shows that fine particle pollution still remains above the standards once again. These standards were set in 2006, about 13 years ago, um, but still we do not have clean air here in the Mon Valley. And what we will need to do to get there is to have real investment in reducing pollution in Clareton by U.S. Steel. We don't need a power plant here, a cogen plant. What we need is clean air. It's not surprising that we continue to hear concerns from residents about asthma, cancer, and other health problems related to the pollution. This is a health emergency that needs to be addressed as such, not someday um, when it's convenient for a multi-billion dollar company to get around to fixing the problem. This agreement should require U.S. Steel to bring the Clareton Coke Works into full compliance. It does not. This agreement should also state that any Coke battery that cannot comply should be put on hot idle until U.S. Steel can fix the problems with that battery. It does not. U.S. Steel wants this agreement to provide them with certainty about the future. They want to know if they violate our clean air laws again, how much they'll have to pay in fines. U.S. Steel has gotten their certainty, but what about local residents? We have no certainty that there will be clean, healthy air in the Mon Valley, and we have heard U.S. Steel's promises about fixing their plant in the past, and we are still waiting for results. I sometimes hear people say that the problem is that the Liberty Monitor is too close to the Clareton Coke Works, and that's why the air quality looks so bad. Does that mean the solution is to move the monitor further away so we can ignore air pollution problems here in the Mon Valley? It's long past time to start, stop ignoring this problem and put into place the solution for U.S. Steel. The Mon Valley and Clareton matter. Um, it's time that we not let another generation grow up here without clean air. Um, and also, I will give you a copy, and I do want to say that we're submitting a number of letters we have from families in the area, including from a number of children. Um, this is the shortest comment you're probably going to receive from someone that simply says, please help. <laughs>